All right, let's go ahead and talk about taking one of your old PS4 or Xbox controllers and hooking this puppy up to your DJI RS3. And the good news is it's actually really, really easy to do. And man, it is a lot of fun once you get this thing unlocked. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it. Oh, and if you do find this useful, do me a favor and please, please, please hit that subscribe button down there. It makes a huge difference to me and I'm gonna keep on making content like this and keep the channel going. I am gonna be using a PS4 controller for this, but you can use this on both a PS4 and an Xbox controller as long as you know how to sync them up Bluetooth wise. And I'm hooking this up to an RS3 Pro, but this should pretty much work pretty much universally, I think, across the RS RS3 line and even the RS2 if you got an old RS2. Let's go and check out how to do it. Now the first thing is if you have the PS4 controller you want to hit the home button and the share button at the same time. Hold that for a second and then what you'll see is you'll start to see it blinking and now once it's blinking it's looking to pair the Bluetooth. All right so once I'm in my phone what I'm doing is I'm going to come to my settings, I'm going to come to my Bluetooth and you will now see it there. So once I see it I connect it and really, it is just that simple. Now that it's connected to my phone, I am good to go. All I have to do is go into my DJI Ronin app. And now once I'm in the DJI RS3 app, I can just go to create, and now you will see gaming controller. I'm gonna hit that, and bam, once I do that, as you can see, now I have my camera hooked up here to my controller. I can pan, tilt, roll, do what I need to do. And it's really just that simple to hook this thing up. Now, if you're coming here, there are a couple things on the gaming controller that I would recommend kind of setting up here on your phone just to kind of get the best results. Uh, the first thing is you can kind of see it's just, it's a little fast. So I like to take my pan and my tilt, I put them down here around 15 or so. And that just gives me a much smoother and controlled kind of vibe. Now you can make it faster depending on what you need to be. It's just gonna be kind of based on your preference. The other thing is if you look, you also can set, it shows you the controller, you can set your joystick basically however you want. So I might have my pan and my tilt to separate things just to get on there, but you can also do things and you can assign buttons. So what I really find helpful is if you look here like button two, I can hit that and bam, recenter my camera. And because I have Bluetooth here on my Canon R5, I can take button one, and now I am recording on my camera. Hit stop, very, very easy. Really, really cool. Gives you a lot of flexibility in a lot of different ways on setting this camera up. Anyway, so I just finished my edit and realized there's one more thing I forgot to say about this that makes it even a little bit cooler. And that is this, you can get these phone holders for your PS4 controllers that are really cheap on Amazon. And what's awesome is not only you have this remote control of your gimbal, but now you can throw your phone on there when you're using Raven Eyes and bam, you have a nice little way to monitor it remotely. Super easy, very, very convenient. Figured it's something you might wanna know about this. I'll put a link down below for this just in case you're interested in it. And guys, that's pretty much all you gotta do. It's pretty much that fast and that simple. Hope you found this interesting. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Leave me any notes and comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.